Did too much crack? too much there. Oh it cracked. Too much gel right there, it yep. cracked there. Yep. Yeah, it shrunk too much, it was too thick. Ugh. Now you got me looking down this side. This side it got real thin, so yeah, it didn't good. crack. There's cracks. A little much right, right there. there. Right there and there. Shrink cracks. That's okay. But that's the only cracks. Alright. So. Hey, just as the sun comes out, huh? Yeah. So we messed it up. Well, I didn't mess it up. Yeah, in the clip right now that you're going to see, you'll hear what I did. I got a roll. I got a roller full of gel coat, and, and all the all the black spots are disappearing for some reason on the boat. So you heard me going around with the roller, and it's it's still not even it's still tacky, but it's all wrinkled up. Yeah, here, come up here. So the mistake, and I should have known better, was we assumed that don't touch it. So we assumed that this was gel coat and we should have known it was paint. Because on so the what, back, right. it says paint by Dave or whatever. Right. Well, we knew the red was paint. We didn't know the white was paint. So our big f up here was Goof putting up. gel coat on top of paint what it did was it chemically reacted with this paint and it bubbled the paint underneath of the gel coat and we're real lucky can't do anything. we're lucky because at the end of the day we sanded it all the way right up here and then we were going to overlap the gel coat on the paint and we did and as you can see it, it all the way down there it, it wrinkled on top of the paint but we're gonna but all this is good still so yeah yeah this is good this will this will work and other than maybe right there i don't know what happened there well that's okay because now we're gonna sand it and we're gonna beauty finish it yeah <laughs> and make it nice and smooth since we have to lay paint again and we have white gel coat on the deck i think the gel coat is just going to be our primer and i think we're going to spray a whole bunch of white paint because i got a whole gallon of single stage western paint and once this gel is fully cured we'll give it another day to cure we're going to sand and prep it but we have to and we didn't even know, because here, I'll show you the picture. There's the picture. It looked beautiful until it hardened. I was editing the video that you seen where we were doing the gel coating. I got all done. This is about four hours curing in an 80 degree it was all of 80, 80, 85 degrees. It was warm. It was warm and it was curing. And I walked out just to see all this bubbled up on the side. And it was like, oh no. I didn't even wake him up. I didn't even want to tell him. Then I woke um, up and walked down and I went, oh, the jack's nice, but. <laughs> right. All the goofed up paint so, and gel on the side. There you go. We mess with this stuff all the time and even we screw up, so. Right. I, I, I just watched a video the other day on <laughs> what was it? things are hard. And then when you think they're hard, they, they get, get harder. harder. And then when they get harder, you think it's gonna be better. I think it was Steve Morris was saying that on yeah, that video. They get harder, 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 harder. It just don't get easier. It's nope. Like, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, demoralized this morning, I was. I was demoralized before I went to bed. At least he didn't know about it until he woke up. How are you feeling, Owen? I'm feeling like I'm going to get a nice smooth deck. 
I think you're gonna, yeah. So yeah. the good thing is, is the four-year-old gel coat hardened. I mean, yeah. there's that. That is a good thing. The high, high bond still worked after sitting for four years, and we did it with a, we measured it with a scale in grams, and it's supposed to be one ounce of um, hardener, hardener or catalyst or whatever for a gallon. So a gallon is 128 ounces. So one ounce to a gallon. So that's 128 to one. So we measured everything in grams with a scale. And we just did, we actually did, did a little thicker. We did a hundred to one mix. It worked out perfect. This stuff was cured on the deck in four, four hours. hours of 85 degrees <coughs> where you could touch it. It's still curing. I mean, it'll still be curing for another day. But it's Although hard. right now, I think you can sand it. Oh, yeah. I think you can sand it right now. And it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. So Exactly. But we're going to let her sit out tonight. And then we'll uh, back to the drawing board. And you'll see us sanding and painting. So on a, on a bright note, sitting down behind this boat is... A jet boat trailer and if we walk up here real quick everybody quick 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 yeah I'll just add it to, to the cut right speed this part up mm -hmm. look like we're speed walking uh, okay because the deal was because I need the microphone the deal was oh yeah I Sewed up an interior for his V drive. I'd fix the bottom of a boat. You'd fix the bottom of a boat. So now I'm doing that. No. And the interior ain't finished. But I'm not done gel coating, so. Yeah. So There's that. There we go. There's the patch. And that's not patch. I'm I'm putting more layers than just one on there. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. Because I see what you do with your jet boat, and she yeah. might get an idea. Right. <laughs> Put your head up a little higher in the shot. There you go. There you go. Yep. So yeah, he's grinding them back. He's got the grinder down here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna feather that back in another couple inches. But yeah, there was a that. hole right through the bottom of this boat. Yeah. For beaching it. Yeah, that's because it was thin there and I knew I was gonna put more than just one thing. So I did that one thin trying to not right. make a giant layered whatever. And in the last video I lied, I put it in there as his first time fiberglassing. No. But no. How much I actually I actually did started... the palm of the penion, then I did something else i can't remember what i did and then i worked on the wood in there fiberglassing and then right then did the gel coat you're, you're getting pretty proficient with the glass yeah. and then way back down there at the pickup for the jet pump there's, <coughs> there's crack. a crack did you you ought to grind that and get a when you do this one do that one. do that put a first layer on that one and that'll be the second one on this one yeah so all right stay tuned what Saying, stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, see what we do. Yeah, yeah. we screw shit up all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make it look perfect for you guys on YouTube. There you go. Yep. All right. So, stay tuned.